Hi guys, so let me guess, you are either a filmmaker or a YouTuber and you once at a time came around an ad from Artlist and now you're thinking, is this Artlist any good? And in this video I want to talk about my experiences with Artlist after three years now as a YouTuber but also as a professional filmmaker and uh, I hope I can help you guys by making your decision. Alright, let's do this. I have made a video about Artlist three years ago, but yeah, I switched back to my German channel because my English is not the best. But there are so many questions on my old video about Artlist and also Artlist itself asked me if I want to make a refresh of the English video. So at this point, thank you to all your questions on the first video and also thank you to Artlist for supporting my work. Whatsoever, this video uh, is my honest opinion about Artlist after using it for three years as a YouTuber, but also I think that's more important as a professional filmmaker. I have made wedding videos, image films, real estate videos and all that kind of stuff. And I hope I can help you guys with your decision if you should consider subscribing to Artlist or not. And if you want to skip around, I put the timestamps I'm talking about down in the video description so you can skip around and listen to the content you're interested in. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, let's start with the interface and yeah, it's pretty much straightforward. It's really modern, minimalistic and easy. You just have some filters here on the left side, whatever you're looking for. If you're looking for a special mood, like it should be happy or uh, playful or uh, something dramatic. Or if you want to have like a special instrument in here, you can just choose whatever you, you're looking for right here. And let's say you are looking for some powerful music. Um, and then you have uh, the list with powerful music of course and you can also sort this music by um, like with this button here if you want to have vocals in the music or not you can turn vocals off or on uh, you can choose for um, top downloads or newest i don't know why this is in german i try to change the language but yeah so this is newest uh, music added to art list or top downloads i always like to look for top downloads first because you know which gets the most downloads i think is the best music so i like to look for this music first and you also can sort by speed uh, by length of the music so if you want to have some really short music like 10 seconds for a social media clip or something like this you can sort it by length and you have all the short music right here so these are your filter options it's really easy really straightforward so yeah, that's about the filters, but what I, what I like even more is this one right here. It's in German right now. Like I said, I don't know why. I think in English it's called it's called Highlights. And what this basically is, is a collection of like the best songs of the month or a collection of like, for example, like this uh, for a special event like Halloween or Valentine's Day or for summer vlog stuff or also collections from famous filmmakers who um, put all their favorite music in one collection in Artlist. So here you can find really good stuff. I always like to check out the best of October uh, collections. So best of the month collections. And when I like some music, I will save it for later in my, in my folders. So that's how you can find music. And what I also like a lot about this interface, like I said, you can save music for later. So if I listen to the best of October music now, and let's say I like this music, I can add it to a folder. I can choose a folder I have already created or I can make a new one and I can create it, put the music in the folder and now I can come back later to the folder and download the music. I also can download the music right away so I just can click here, I can put it in my cart and I can download the music later. I just have to go here, check out and I will get the music via email and I also can download the music right here on my library. and. I can download the music here in mp3 or wav also here on your back end you have your collections you have saved and what i really like about this is that you can send these folders to your friends or clients and when you have some clients who are not happy with the music i like to send them a folder where i put just five six seven different songs where i think they could fit for the project 
and I send the whole folder to the client and he can listen to the five, six, seven songs and choose one of the songs. And oftentimes the clients started to look for music on Artlist by themselves and sent me some different music I, I didn't even listen to. So I think that's a great way to work together with your clients to just send um, a link of the folder with the music you think could fit to the project. So yeah, that's all the important stuff about the interface. Of course, you have your search engine up here. If you want to look for something you're, you're into or you want to search for sound effects, you can do this up here. But I think that's the most important stuff about the interface. <music> All right, even more important is the license. And I think the licensing of Atlas is still insane. You can use the music for freaking anything while different music pages still sorting between uh, personal commercial projects or subscribers up to 1 million views or uh, cinema, cinema movie projects. If you do these, you have to pay more. At Atlas, you can use the music for anything, for TV shows, for YouTube stuff, no matter how many views, for cinema productions, if you do stuff for Netflix, you can use the music from Artlist for no matter what. That's the great thing about Artlist. I really love the workflow. You need music, you go to the website, you, you are looking for something you like, you download it and you're done. You don't have to think about licensing one more time Again, and of course you have a lifetime use. So all the music or all the videos you are creating while you are subscribed to Artlist, you can, they can stay online for a lifetime. So you don't have to think about that, that your videos are um, not valid anymore or your license for these videos are not valid anymore. After your subscription, all the stuff you are doing while you are subscribed to Artlist can stay online for a lifetime. <laughs> All right, let's talk about money and you have three options available. You have the sound effects bundle for $149. You have the music only without sound effects uh, for $199 a year. And you have the big bundle with sound effects and music for $299 a year. So you can choose whatever you need, if you need sound effects or not, or if you're just here for the sound effects. Uh, one thing to say, there is no monthly payment option. So you have to pay for one whole year. Um, and I heard some people complaining that this is too expensive, but to be honest, between us filmmakers, I think that's pretty cheap. Even if you are a new filmmaker and you have your first paying clients, I think you have this money back in pretty quickly. And uh, to never think about music and licensing for one whole year again, I think it's a steal. And if you want to save some money, I will paste the link down below. And if you sign up via this link, you know the game, it's an affiliate link, uh, but I think it's a great win-win-win situation. If you sign up via the link, you will get two months completely for free, extra on top on your subscription. So if you sign up, you don't get 12 months of Artlist. No matter what option you choose here, you will get 14 months. So it's a win for you. You can support my work a little bit. And of course, we are supporting Artlist. So, yeah, if you want to save some money, check out the link below. So yeah, I think the pricing is really fair on Artlist. Also, there is a 14 day money back guarantee. So if you are not happy after 10 days, you can just cancel it. Also, one last tip, don't forget to cancel your subscription before like your one year is over because Artlist, the Artlist subscription will um, automatically renew itself um, after one year and like pull the money automatically from your, from your bank account. So don't forget to cancel before this happens. And if you like it, you can like Resubscribe manually. I just bought a new way. Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it. Shotty says she loves me. Let's talk about music quality. And I mean, of course, that's no Sp Spotify chart playlist uh, quality. But I think for commercial stuff and for YouTube stuff, you will find a lot of awesome music on Artlist. I have made some awesome, like, epic landscape videos, I've made image videos, wedding videos for clients, I've made real estate videos and I always found music for these videos on Artlist. I never had issues to find some music and I was always happy with the quality because you also can download music in WAV quality, so in the highest quality possible. So yeah, I think quality wise you will get some great music on Artlist and if you want to try it, go ahead. You just can visit the website, listen to music, you even can open a, a, a free account and download music, of course, with watermark on top. And you can try to use the music for your videos and decide for yourself if the quality and 
the quantity of art lists is enough for you or not. All right, and the last thing I want to talk about is sound effects. That was something I have been missing uh, in my last art list video and now it's here sound effects. So you can just, uh, when you're on the website, you can just either way go on the search engine and search here for sound effects or you just can pick uh, sound effects down down here and now you can search for something here or you have some um, yeah pre-organized folders if you want to uh, look for sounds from some tools or kitchen sounds or wood sounds or reactions or whatever you're looking for it's here the quality is great uh, it's easy to find it's easy to download also the same stuff with the licensing you don't have to think about it so it's here and if you don't need sound effects you just can pick the bundle without sound effects and you don't have to pay for it so i think that's a great deal you also can add the sound effects bundle afterwards so if you go with the um, just music plan for for the beginning and uh, after a half year you think about yeah i would like to have the sound effects bundle also you can book this afterwards as well all right that's pretty much it uh, one or two more things i would love to see on artlist perhaps last time they um, took my feedback serious and they have changed some stuff in the interface and what i love to see is first of all a bundle between artlist and artgrid so if you you are using both services it would be great to have one big bundle for everything that would be awesome and also like a little workflow hack would be great like when I want to download music I have to go on this uh, download button then I have to go to my card when I'm in my card I have to go to checkout then I will get an email and then I can down download the music from my email or I go to my library and download the music from here so this could be like like just one click if I find music like right here I click on download and it starts downloading that would be a small workflow thing I would like to see because um, that's like kind of complicated and I think it doesn't have to be that complicated. But yeah, that's just a small thing. Uh, otherwise, I, lo I love the interface. I love Artlist. I love the licensing. And yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, conclusion. Artlist worked great for me the last three years as a YouTuber, but even more as a professional filmmaker. I like the team, I like the support, I like the quality, I like the easy workflow and I even like the deal you will get for one year even more. So I'm pretty happy and if you like it, try it. Go on the website of Artlist, listen to the music and if you like the music, try it for one year. And don't forget to check out the links down below to get two months extra on your subscription. Right. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have some more questions, let me know in the comments down below and otherwise happy editing. Enjoy Artlist. And thanks for watching. Bye. Try to catch me howling at the moon.